So it's been a little while. It's been two weeks since we've done a vlog. So just a little bit of a wrap up of the last two weeks. Um, there wasn't a vlog last week, mainly because uh, I didn't get out fishing at all. Um, Birdie had her procedure, which is actually a spinal tap or lumbar puncture, um, to try to release some of the pressure in her spine, which has been causing headaches for, for what seems like months now. So uh, <clears throat> the results of that were exactly what they expected. Um, there was high pressure in her spine, which they're going to deal with with medication. Uh, but this really just confirmed the diagnosis. So we've got some answers with that, which is kind of what we were hoping would happen. We didn't want any surprises and we didn't get any, so that, so that was good. Uh, I had some dental work surgery done, which was, they made a big deal out of it. It wasn't a big deal at all. I probably could have fished on the Friday, but I didn't. Because they told me I had to stay home and rest, but I, I should have fished. But um, So in this one, uh, I really only took out, uh, I had a group on the Friday, which you'll see. Um, we're going to throw some chatterbaits around, maybe some drop shotting. And uh, I actually shot a, a TV show with uh, <clears throat> with Ken Whiting for his, uh, it's a battling show actually that, so they did um, promoting the Rideau area and La Boat. So you're going to see some of that video and uh, that was pouring rain. Um, so the roof on the boat came in very handy for his cameraman. So we put that together. Um, but pretty much, you know, it's an odd time of year. The fishing's good mostly um but i'm not getting out as much as i'd like to last week for sure because of what we had going on but this week uh, i've got a trip on um on friday with the frame boys and that's pretty well i think i have one more after that but um i've cleaned the boat up uh there's some potential guys looking at it uh, to take it home for this for the end of the year and uh and then mega bucks is saturday so <clears throat> the next vlog will be all about big fast mega bucks which is on saturday and uh, if you all just want to come out and watch, uh, the guys come wait their fish every hour. It's not like you have to show up at 4 o'clock for your weigh-in. But uh, every hour they show up and weigh some fish, give away a pile of money. So enjoy this week. A little bit of fishing, not a whole lot. But uh, next week will be Big Bass Mega Bucks and lots of fish next week. Just uh, launched the boat here, walking it over the dock. Obviously, we're on the Little Rio or Upper Rio. Um, meeting with the guys from facing waves this morning i guess this show has been on it's more of a paddling show but um it's a small world because ken whiting is the host and i actually did some stuff with ken with with tim allard on tim's book so uh small world and i didn't know that until this morning but uh yeah so we're gonna fish for a few hours and uh, they're really just focusing on um la boat which is right there which if you've been on the rito you've seen these giant boats on the on the Rito system and uh, so Ken's been on it all week and paddling out of the back of it kind of using it as a home base but he wanted to do some fishing and focus on the fishing in the area a little bit on the show so that's what we're going to do this morning it's kind of grayish and spinning and we'll see what how it is and hopefully we get a few bites roof's going to come in handy she's a little rainy the boys are loading in here and this is different mm-hmm now I'm a shuttle <laughs> Gonna do the trick though. Fish number two. Slow start for Ken, but now he's catching him. So there's the boat. We're done filming. I'm off to dental surgery. That's awesome. But uh, we caught some. And uh, even though it was crappy out, I think they got what they needed for the show. That's a cool boat. I've seen them all summer long on the Rito, so you'll see more of them, I have a feeling. Just loading in for a trip tomorrow. These have to be reloaded. I've been going through lots of these lately on the chatterbaits, but it is going to be cold tomorrow. So I am digging for clothes that I have not touched since last late fall. Fall is here, boys. Hope the fish are on the munch. I'm lucky again, I got clients not and fish for each other. Look at the snowsuits. It's nice out here. <laughs> That's what we were so looking. Darren's not and fish for Leo and we were just about to move, but uh oh. Just about to move and we, I got the chunky monkey right here. <laughs> we might stay for a little bit. Yeah, I think so. I might kiss him. That's our end of the day, boys. Snow pants. Yes, sir. And chatter baits. Yep. It's a great day. That's a fun day, boys. Yes, it was. Great day with RJ. Tofter out. Mint.
This time of year's clothing is sometimes a challenge, not got these this week. Blackfish bibs, there's a micro fleece in them. They were unreal today. By far the best bibs I've ever had. Warm, dry, and um, little fish slimy too. So uh, yeah, check them out, they're pretty mint. Glad I got those. Just back in the, in the barn here, and another fun day, man. I, at least 50 bites. I think we had 12 smallies. We fished for smallies for maybe an hour and a half, and we had 12 smallies off a point. And then uh, we fished for largies a whole bunch, and uh, we got a mix of pike and largies. We didn't get the big, big largies I was hoping to get, but we got, I think we got a couple around four, maybe a little bit better than four, but uh, lots of hook sets, and uh, the guy stuck it out. It was cold. It was really cold. Uh, they started in uh, in snowsuits and finished in snowsuits. It was uh, north wind, made it interesting, but oh well, we caught them. Boys, boys had a good time, so I think we'll see Leo again. I see Darren quite a, Darren quite a bit, but I think uh, I think we'll see Leo again. He had a good time. So just wrapping this one up. Like I said, not a lot of fishing. We've been really busy. Birdie turned fifty. She's pretty hot. For my girl we had a great party for her great crowd showed up um she was a little overwhelmed by it but thrilled had a great time everybody had a great time uh, this week we're just setting up for mega bucks our big event for the year and uh so we're excited about saturday the weather looks fantastic i think the guys are going to catch them i think it's going to be a largemouth fest with the warm temps it's traditionally largemouth it stays warm but uh either way we're gonna have 100 boats out on big rito and uh, have a great time with those guys as always and then uh, that'll be it. I'll probably put the boat away. And uh, guess what? I'm going to be bumming rides. I got good buddies. Right, Tuck? See you next week.